Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me a screenshot and told me they have no save button on their artistic media tool. They were watching one of my videos. You will not have an art or save button on this right here, which is a pre-stroke, pre-made stroke. So we're going to go to our artistic media tool, and I've got mine picked. It is preset. There's no save button because these are preset strokes that you can pick from. So if we want that stroke right there, we can create that stroke. And then as always, you can make it uh, thinner and thicker if you want it to whatever size you want. You're only gonna have a save button if you create something. So let's just create a stroke, uh, make it pretty easy, I think. Um, i tell you what, let's do, uh, let's go to common shapes or basic shapes get an arrow and let's make some arrows and let's fill them in with black and take away the outline let's go ahead and convert them to a curve it'll get rid of that red dot and maybe help us this thing is let's make it one inch long let's set our nudge factor on 1.5 control d and make a bunch of them now, to make this work, you've got to group them together. Go to Object, Group, and Control-G. Then, you can go to the Artistic Media Tool and pick your brush and save that. And we'll call it Arrow, just A-R. Then, if you take your stroke, you've made a stroke of arrows. And then, again, same thing here. You can change the... The thickness of the arrows, let's just make it like one. Let's make it 0.5. So that's the save button. Um, when you have this, there's no save button. It's only on the brush stroke and the spray can. I don't even think the pen, see the pen tool doesn't have it. Or the expression. It's only the paint, or as far as I know, only the paint brush or they just they just call it the brush or the spray can. Anyway, I hope that answered his question and thank you for watching.